You might have heard it earlier this hour. Donald Trump continuing to say the election is rigged for Hillary Clinton. The Republican candidate mentioned two studies yesterday that he says back up his claim. But Politico reports those studies fall short of proving his point, and the fact checking website PolitiFact gives Trump's claims of large scale voter fraud its worst rating. Pants on fire. <laughs> Tony Sayeg is a uh, Republican campaign strategist, political analyst, and Fox News contributor. Uh, this, so these these charges that Donald Trump is is making, and he is he's suggested there is you know outright voter fraud, dead people voting, or that the media are conspiring to rig the election. Today he seemed to be focused on the media. Is he right? On the media side, absolutely. It was confirmed by a lot of what we learned from these WikiLeaks. And it was even in the coverage, frankly, John, of the WikiLeaks that we see not only the bias, but possibly even collusion of the media with the Clinton campaign. You have NBC who covered seven minutes on the Trump tape for every 30 seconds on the Hillary WikiLeaks. CNN, eight minutes for every 30 seconds. CBS, five minutes on the Trump tape for every 30 seconds of a broadcast hour on WikiLeaks. There's clearly some level of support and sympathy on that side. Then we learn furthermore from these WikiLeaks emails that you have people from the New York Times to the Boston Globe to the Washington Post coordinating stories with the Clinton campaign. In one case, a Politico um, journalist actually tried to ask for permission to use certain quotes, gave the campaign the right to even write their own quotes for a piece. This is beyond what we've always known existed, which is liberal bias. On the voter fraud side, look, everybody universally accepts voter fraud exists. Democrats make this claim as much as Republicans. Um, when you talk about the fact-checking websites, however, and they're, they're kind of claiming Trump being wrong. They've been wrong in the past, too. They said John McCain was wrong in 2008 about ACORN, and we learned in 2010 that there was voter fraud perpetrated by ACORN. 18 people went to jail as a result. And meanwhile, all along during the 2008 campaign, we were told by the media that this was fabricated but, by the McCain campaign. But some Trump, uh, even some Trump advocates are saying he's got to be careful because if he's telling his people that this election is lost before it's even taken place, his people, his voters are going to stay home. On that point of strategy, it's absolutely right. You can't allow people to feel that they can't impact the outcome. And the truth of the matter is they certainly still can. Um, and that's where I think Donald Trump has to walk the fine line by keeping on a message, by the way, John, that's worked for him throughout this campaign. And it's also worked for Bernie Sanders throughout this campaign. It's that whole idea that the macro dynamics of this country are rigged against the average person, whether it's the economy, whether it's government in Washington, whether it's the voting system, that if you're the average guy, you're always losing out to these larger elite interests that both parties parties, frankly, have represented. So Trump on the overall message is right to make this about a rigged system, but he can't do it at the expense of enthusiasm of his own voters. Well, he can't seem to get out of his own way sometimes. I mean, uh, since that tape came out, he's down quite a few points, even in states like Texas. Uh, he, he is, he, you know, at least they are um, the Republican they're not doing as well as, as they typically have. I'll, I'll owe a lot of my, my Democratic colleagues steak dinners if Hillary Clinton wins Texas. I think it's nearly impossible that she does. Look, there's no doubt there's fluctuation in the polls. Donald Trump in the immediate wake was down by around 11, 12 points. This race is back down to about seven. I suspect if he does well in the debate tomorrow that you'll probably even get a narrower and tighter race as well. But look at some of these swing states like Ohio, like North Carolina, like Nevada, all within a one or two point margin of error. And these are totally winnable states for Donald Trump right now. All right. Tony Sayeg, a Republican strategist. We'll see if you buy any steak dinners. Tony, thank you. You got it. Thanks.